Good morning and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Clinton Griffiths. The livestock auction isn't a place where buyers and sellers always see eye to eye. Buyers are trying to buy low while sellers hope to sell high. Well, thanks to the Oklahoma Quality Beef Network, those two perspectives are starting to align. I want There's nothing unfamiliar about a cattle sale to most Oklahoma producers. The sights, the sounds are typically the same. But here at the Red River Livestock Auction south of Ardmore, this sale is anything but typical. We gladly will give a little more for a calf that will perform and not get sick. We've got good cattle here and the buyers are here and uh, we're hoping this works out for them and us. Both men are hoping for positive results from the Oklahoma Quality Beef Network's first sale here at the Red River facilities. More than 1,600 cattle from 58 different sellers. For producer Francis Nelson, this is his first trip to an OQBN sale. Uh, we just weaned them at 45 days, uh, and we did give them two rounds of shots where we'd been giving them one, and we just took really good care of them. Which is what makes the OQBN sale different. The owners of these calves must follow specific guidelines, like weaning 45 days prior to the sale, and following vaccination protocols, actions that are documented and certified by a third party, such as Oklahoma's extension educators. It's extra effort that buyers like Daniel Thorne are happy to pay for. I think a person can easily uh, pay $35 to $50 a head more for a preconditioned calf. Uh, just because he'll he'll be finished ahead of the rest and, and less medicine in him and less death loss and so on and so forth. The ballers and uh, bulls that we buy, you know, a third of them get sick and it's a big long process getting them healed up and getting them turned out and gaining and, and the, the uh, preconditioned cattle, you know, put a brand on them, turn them out and they're gone. So it's, it's there's a major difference in the results. Well the end goal is to pro provide a safe wholesome product beef product for the consumer and if you get these cattle started off healthy they'll do well all throughout the cycle and uh, they'll, they'll be good for the consumer and that's the whole bottom line that plus we want to make sure that the producers get what they put into these cattle. The end result is that both parties make a good financial decision. So you got to uh, be the lowest cost producer you can be to survive. Uh, it's just the way life is and this recession's made it that much tougher. So uh, keeping the death loss down and getting something for every animal you buy is real important. It's not difficult. Not I've been doing most of it already. Uh, and it's, it's just good management and, and hopefully we get, uh, get a little pay for that. Making these sights and sounds a good investment in Oklahoma. Doug, it looks like the buyers and sellers were both very positive, but the key is results. And, and what were the results from that sale? There at Red River, we had 56 producers sell a little over 1,600 head of cattle today at that sale. And through the Oklahoma Quality Beef Network, those cattle, those 1,600 heads seen a premium anywhere from four to ten dollars per hundred weight over the normal run sale. So that's that's pretty significant. It's a significant premium when you look at everything you consider. And another advantage to these sales is the fact that these cattle are weaned 45 days, so you're selling a heavier calf. 45 days later at as, as high as a $10 premium. And you held some of these sales all over the state. Uh, same results around the state? Yes, this is our fourth sale here at uh, Red River Livestock, but we had one in Blackwell. We sold two at OKC West and El Reno. Same results, a four to $10 premium. That's on a four weight calf all the way to an eight weight uh, steer calf. And we sold a little over 4,500 head of calves to these sales, which represented about 160, 165 producers that seen the same premium statewide. So it's very, um, good premium that you can see and it's very significant in terms of what you're getting in addition to selling a heavier weight calf. 
the key is really having producers get paid for the work that they're already doing. That's right. That's right. This is something the producers already doing, or maybe it's something they need to start leaning toward doing as the industry is is actually demanding this type of calf. This is the calf that's in demand in this industry. So it's something they're doing and getting a little premium for do so. Maybe in the future, who knows, that premium may not be there, but it's definitely there today. So today, this year, it definitely paid off. Uh, if someone is interested in this, there's no more of these sales this year, but coming up in the fall, they can see some more of these. Yes, yeah, starting next fall in 2010, we do have some sales already scheduled. We've got some other barns that have shown interest, wanting to schedule one of these sales. And I say there's not one in the spring. We've had a couple of barns that actually contact us. Nothing is set in stone, but at least there's some interest out there. There's some talk in the industry, in the state, of possibly holding one of these sales this spring. But right now, in concrete, we'll have four to five sales this fall. All right. Well, Doug, uh, looks like a good program. If people want more information, where can they go to get it? They can call us here at the Animal Science or they can go to oqbn.okstate.edu. All right. Thanks, Doug. Appreciate it. Thank you.